Think you're smarter than a fifth grader? How about a five-year-old chimp? Japanese researchers have pitted young chimps against human adults in tests of short-term memory, and overall, the chimps won. Matsuzawa Tetsuro of Kyoto University's Primate Research Institute has been studying chimpanzees closely for the past 30 years. Many people still believe that humans are superior to any other kind of creatures in all domain of intelligence. In total, there are 14 chimpanzees in the Institute's lab. Initially, the chimps were taught to recognize Arabic numerals from one to nine, which formed the basis of the memory tests. The test begins with six numerals displayed on the screen for a split second before they are masked. The chimps then have to press the squares in the numerical sequence that corresponds to the numbers that are concealed. A correct answer is rewarded with food or spoken praise or encouragement. Ayumu showed the accuracy 80 percent or even more. Matsuzawa says also taking the test is Yamamoto Hiroyuki, a first-year doctoral student. But with an average of just 10 percent, he scored considerably worse than the chimps. But the research team says that is pretty good for a human. In this test of immediate memory or eidetic imagery or photographic memory, whatever you name, this kind of memory is, a chimpanzee is very good at this kind of memory. And we humans may have lost such a kind of capability in the course of evolution. Matsuzawa points out all chimps have this ability, not just one. He suggests that the most plausible explanation is that the common ancestor of humans and chimps may have had a photographic memory. Of course, there is a possibility that chimpanzee may have developed this kind of special skill in the course of chimpanzee evolution. But more plausible explanation is the common ancestor of humans and chimpanzee may have had this kind of capability. Professor Nicholas Humphrey of the London School of Economics agrees. What it's taught us is that we have probably descended from animals which had much better memories than we do currently. And that poses obviously a hugely interesting question. Why did human beings lose their memories? On the face of it, having photographic recall would seem to be a useful and extremely desirable ability. For humans to lose that skill must have meant that there was something really to be gained by it. I mean, something which really accounted for us and overrode the disadvantages of losing picture memory. And I think the answer is probably language. Without, with too good memory, we wouldn't have had the incentive to develop language. Humphrey believes the disadvantages of having a photographic memory are that it prevents the necessity to develop abstract thoughts and concepts. The other factor is the youth of Ayumu and his peers. The memory for images that's needed for the tests resembles a skill found in children, but dissipates with age. In fact, the young chimps perform better than older chimps in the study. Ayumu's mother did even worse than the college students. For the best subscription offers to any National Geographic magazine, log on to nationalgeographic.com slash magazines.